Hey YouTube, how's it going? Felix here. Today I've got a random hypothetical question for you which I need your help with. Uh, I need your input, I want to hear your opinion in the comment section below with this question. What would your dream two-car garage be for £100,000? So imagine you've only got two spaces on your driveway, uh, you can only have two cars, but they can be any cars you like, new cars, used cars, classic cars, whatever, whatever suits you best. You've got a maximum budget of £100,000 to spend. Uh, you've got to spend the whole budget. <laughs> you can't have any money left over. You've got to spend every penny. Uh, and these are cars you've got to live with, right? So you can't just have two track cars or something like that. They've got to be cars that you would want to live with every day. So, you know, you've got to be able to not only have a fun car um, to, you know, you know, go for some drives in the countryside on, but you've also have, got to have a, a car to go to the supermarkets in and do some sort of normal everyday driving as well. So the reason I'm making this video is because we've got two cars here which are owned by my family, which I think are a really, really good two-car garage for £100,000. And they just so happen to pretty much exactly add up to £100,000. So the first car we've got here is the 2018 Alpine A110 Legend. Uh, this car we bought new back in 2018. Um, it was £52,000 new. If you haven't seen my in-depth video about this car, I'll put a little, little link to it in the pop-up banner there in the corner, which you can click on and have a, have a watch that. And then the other half of our £100,000 garage is this, which is a 2017 Range Rover Vogue SE uh, SD V8. So this is the 4.4 litre diesel V8, which is a fantastic engine. Uh, yeah, we bought this car used. It was about £48,000 when we bought it used. Um, if you haven't seen my in-depth video on that car, then click out, click here and I'll put a link to that one as well so you can watch my Range Rover video. But yeah, 48,000 for the Range Rover, 52,000 for the Alpine. That is, a, in my opinion, a very, very strong two-car garage uh, for sort of everyday and fun use. Why, sh why should you pick something like the Alpine for your dream two-car garage? Well, you know, it's a fantastically well-reviewed driver's car, super, super lightweight, incredibly good fun to drive. Um, surprisingly good on fuel as well, um, you know, and one of the most important things I think about this is it's extremely rare. Uh, the Alpine is, is very, very unusual. There are only around 350 of them or so. Don't quote me on that. It does vary a bit, but only around 350 of them in the UK. So it's very, very unlikely. You'll see one of these if you go on a road trip or if you go to a car meet or something like that. Very unlikely you're going to see another one of these at that, that, at that event. Um, Gordon Murray, the guy who designed the McLaren F1, he daily drives an Alpine A110. I mean, need I say any more, right? And I think one of the coolest things about the Alpine, along with its rarity factor, is the fact that the Alpine badge doesn't necessarily have some of those sort of negative connotations associated with it, like uh, something like a Porsche Cayman Might, or maybe something like a BMW M2, you know, People don't really know what this brand is, so you get less judgment for it. Anyway, so that's the Alpine. And then the other half of the uh, of the garage, everything which the Alpine lacks. So one thing it clearly lacks are things like you know, luggage space and uh, you know, passenger carrying ability, uh, any sort of practicality, practicality it really lacks. And of course, with the Range Rover, you get lots and lots of that. Um, this is a standard wheelbase uh, Range Rover. You know, it's not the, not the extended wheelbase, but my God, it's big enough. Absolutely massive, massive vehicle. You can carry five people in this in comfort and in style. Uh, loads and loads of legroom in here. If you fold the seats down flat, it's got an incredible amount of room. Uh, you could easily sort of move house or you know take your Christmas tree to the recycling center, something like that. This has got the 4.4 litre diesel V8, which is a fantastic engine. Um, it's definitely not very good on fuel, uh, or particularly fast, but it's sort of, it's fast enough and it's um, it's really, really, really suits the car well and so has lots and lots of torque and just pulls it along beautifully. The car's got a lot of presence. It's the sort of thing you could sort of drive anywhere, turn up to anything in and, uh, you know, and people just, yeah, it's just a cool car. And if you've never driven a Range Rover before, I mean, that the high up seating position is like nothing else I've ever driven personally. I haven't driven one until we got this. It's a super, super cool driving position. Um, feels very sort of powerful and strong on the road. It's great for long distance trips. Uh, great for going on holiday. Great for going to the supermarket. You know, it's got lots of space. Yeah, and I think it's just a fantastic sort of all-rounder car. And, you know, great as well if you if it's snowing in the winter. You know, this car's got fantastic four-wheel drive capability. Great off-road. Um, you can very unlikely to get stuck in the Range Rover. 
So anyway, this is my or our two car, 100,000 pound garage. What would you pick? I would love to hear your opinion. Uh, I'd love for you to put in the comment section below what you would have. Got to be cars you, you're going to live with every day, £100,000. You can only have two cars on the drive. Let me know what you would choose for your dream garage. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.